It's widely regarded as the most prestigious award available for peace. And this year, it's been awarded to Dennis McQuaigie and Nadia Murad for their efforts to end the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war. Dennis McQuaigie is the helper who has devoted his life to defending these victims. Nadia Murad is the witness who tells of the abuses perpetrated against herself and others. Mukwege is a gynaecologist who's been treating victims of sexual violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo for more than two decades. Known as Dr Miracle, the 63-year-old is an outspoken critic of the abuse of women in war and has repeatedly accused the world of failing to act. I realised after many years in my work that rape is a strategy of war and one that works very well. I think today everyone's attention should be drawn to this issue because we're talking about the total destruction of our social fabric and that is unacceptable. Someone that has experienced that strategy firsthand is 25-year-old Yazidi Nadia Murad. She was held captive by the Islamic State in Mosul where she was repeatedly gang-raped, tortured and beaten. After managing to escape, she became a UN Goodwill ambassador for survivors of human trafficking and a global champion for the justice of her people, campaigning for the jihadist acts to be internationally recognised as genocide. As a victim, as an activist, as a human and as a Yazidi, I send a message to the world. This genocide has been recognised by many parties, but so far no mass grave has been documented. The prize will be presented in Oslo on December 10th.